Hey everyone, it's Simon Hilly from Inklips. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I don't know about you, but knowing a bunch of stamping techniques is a really great thing to make your cards look a little bit better. So today I'm going to be showing you guys five different stamping techniques that I've learned over the years and some of my favorites that I think are most important. So I've sorted it out so at the beginning of the video you get to see all the different techniques and how they all work. And then at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to put all the different cards together that we made in today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite stamping technique. If you also want to click that subscribe button down there you'll never miss another video like this one from me and there's a little bell down there as well if you want to click that you can get all the notifications from my channel so without further ado let's get into the video all right so this first technique is shadow stamping one of my favorites actually it kind of just creates a darker shadow on an image that you're going to be stamping down so I'm starting off with a white pigment ink you're going to want to cover your whole stamp with that and then flip it over and stamp it onto your cardstock you can use a darker colored cardstock for this like a gray or a craft cardstock but stay away from black because it won't show any of the colors and then clean your stamp off and stamp it down again with your colored dye ink you want to coordinate with it then when you stamp it down, go right over the image you stamped earlier and tilt it just a little bit and offset it. This way, when you push it down, some of it will go into the pigment ink and some of it will end up onto your cardstock. The stuff that's on the pigment ink won't sink in as much, so it's a lot lighter of an image. And the stuff that goes onto the cardstock is a lot darker and creates that fun shadow effect. So then I took the rest of my images and I did the exact same thing with it and I love how this card turned out. It's pretty simple and elegant but all the different pops of colors with the white looks awesome. And you really want to test this technique out while you're using it with your inks because a lot of the different colors, whether darker or lighter, react differently with the pigment ink and you get a lot of different and awesome effects with it. This next technique is called swipe stamping. I actually learned it from Jennifer McGuire but it gives a little bit of extra texture to all your solid stamped images. So I'm just going to start off by stamping down my sentiment in kind of the lower center area of my card. This just ensures that I won't have to put it on foam tape later on on my card and it's already there so I can stamp right around it. Now I love using hybrid inks for this technique because I find that they stay kind of put on your stamped images and give you that really nice texture but dye inks would work perfectly as well. So you kind of just want to start by tapping your image like you regularly would if you're stamping it and then swipe it a couple times across it to create this really fun texture. Now when I stamp it down like I said the hybrid inks stay really put so you'll get this really awesome texture when you put it onto your cardstock like this and you can start building a seed around it but it really just adds some texture to your solid stamping and gives your card just a little bit more interest. So I'm going to do this with all the different colors and all the images to create this fun card and you can swipe it in any different direction or things like that to kind of change it up on each little image. I like that this didn't take a super long time so if you need a card really quick in a jiffy you can just start making this card and it'll at max take 10 minutes out of your day and then you'll go into the party with a really fun looking card with all that stamps texture and it doesn't look like something you created in 10 minutes. This next technique is definitely my all-time favorite in card making because it gives such an elegant 3D look to your cards with layered stamping. And later on in this video you'll actually see how I added a little bit of extra detail and pizzazz to this card once I was finished. As most stamp layering goes, I'm starting out with the largest image and I'm going to stamp it down with the lightest color, so I'm using kind of a cotton candy pink here. I'm going to stamp that down and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to a darker reddish color for the outer part of the wings and then I'm going to go in with the darkest color right in the center. Now this is a pretty simple stamp layering set, I'm going to go on with the inside here, but you can use other sets that layer a lot more and give a lot more detail, but I love this butterfly one as well. And then I'm going to stamp down its little twin butterfly right above it, but in blue with the lightest color medium and the darkest right above. This next technique is ombre stamping and you can get a really fun look from it with all your different colored ink pads if you have those or you could even use your ombre ink pads like I will later on in the tutorial. So I'm starting the card by just stamping my sentiment right in the center as well and then we're going to start off with the technique. So I'm going to use the lightest color of ink and I'm going to dab that right onto my stamp and then I'm going in with the darker color of the two and I'm going to just kind of roll that ink pad right onto the side. You can do it from any direction and you want in the image but then you'll get just this darker shadow on it and it creates a really fun shading effect and it won't really ruin any of your ink pads. If you start off with the lightest color and then go into the darkest one there is little to none transfer and you don't have to worry about ruining anything but you still get this really awesome fun background and it's a great way to use all your ink pad colors if you have a bunch of them. If you don't have a ton of colored ink pads like this though you could do this technique in 
in the Misty stamping tool if you have that, and just shade with the same ink pad and stamp it over a couple times. Now like I said, you could also go in with ombre ink pads, you'll see that right here, and I go in and stamp a couple of images and you get almost the exact same results as using a bunch of colored ink pads, so you can kind of take your pick here which ink pads you really want to invest in and which ones you want to create this really fun background with. This last technique is tone on tone stamping and you get a really classic fun look with it. So I have this um, stamp set with a bunch of different sentiments in it and I'm going to use those little sentiments on tiny strips of scrap cardstock that I had laying around that are a bunch of different colors and basically you just take a little bit of a darker ink compared to the cardstock and stamp the sentiment down right onto it like this or whatever image you have and it gives some really clean and simple awesome looking vibes to your cards and you'll see how I finish this off later in the video. So once I'm finished stamping all of the different strips of cardstock here, I'm going to show you how I finished some of my cards, starting off with this butterfly card here. I just did a really simple and fun die cutting technique and added it right onto a card base. So all I did was tape down the coordinating die that goes with it on both of the butterflies, and you can put it inside your die cutting plate or machine, but whatever goes inside of it, it cuts and whatever hangs off doesn't. So I'm just cutting off one wing here, and this will make it pop up or raise off my card to add a little bit of extra dimension and some fun looks to the card. So all I'm going to do is just peel that die right up and you'll see how this one wing just comes up and I'm going to do the same with the other butterfly right above it. So I just added a piece of foam tape underneath each wing to make sure it stayed up, added a sentiment, put it onto a colorful card base, and then I added some Wink of Stella Shimmer which won't rub off onto your hands once you're finished and that kind of completes the whole card. The next card is that one with all the different tone on tone stamping and all those strips of cardstock. It gives a really clean and simple look but I love how it turned out in the end. So for all these sentiment strips all I did was just cut them down into little banners. So all you need to do is just cut once in the center and twice on an angle to create that really fun look. And I also cut some of them on an angle to vary it up a little bit and add some awesome looks to the card. Now by all means I know that it's not super practical to have all these sentiments on one card, but I saw this sentiment set and this kind of technique was just calling my name, so you don't need to use all of these by far, but it, I think it creates a really fun look on your card. So I'm taking that giant U stamp and lining it up on the side of a white card panel here, and then I'm going to stamp that down and this creates it so that I can add all those little banner sentiments without running into that U sentiment and creating a really fun look. So I'm just taking some foam tape to pop them up and I'm just going to space them out on my card so that all the different lengths can lead into the fact that you can read all of them with that U sentiment on it. So I think that's a really fun idea and I think the card turned out pretty well in the end. So then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to cut off all those little banners on the sides from the back and then I'm going to add it onto a card base and that kind of finishes it off. It's pretty clean and simple, but I love how the effect turned out. So for the rest of the cards, all of it was pretty self-explanatory, so I didn't want to show it on camera, but I just stamped a sentiment on some of them and added them to a card base and that kind of finishes off this entire video. So I hope you guys really enjoyed all the different cards and all the different techniques that were shown. What'd you guys think? I hope you really enjoyed that video. Don't forget to leave me that comment down below letting me know your favorite stamping technique. And if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos in the future, there's a little subscribe button down there. You guys can click that to join the family and never miss a video like this one from me. I hope you guys will have a great day and I'll see you very soon in another card making and crafting video. Bye!